Hi, y'all. So some people have asked me what I think about the Baltimore uh, riots or the uh, funnily named Baltimore uprising. I don't really have a great deal to say about it, actually. It, it, it's obviously nonsensical. Um, when, when people tell me they have a particular motive and they're, they're after particular ends, then it isn't uh, all that difficult to compare what it is they're doing against the ends they claim to have. And when their actions don't serve that end, I tend to think I'm being told a story, or uh, whatever it is I'm being told is not quite accurate. I'll just put it that way. So, I, I'm at a loss here to understand the, the reasoning going through the, as we know, they're not thugs. I just heard on one interview that they should be called kings and queens, and I thought, maybe, maybe you should go to Baltimore and walk up to one of those young black guys and go, listen, queen, and see how that works out. Uh, best of luck. Hope it works out for you. It'll work much better in San Francisco than it will in Baltimore, I'm sure, but whatever. But anyway, uh, as near as I can tell, the reasoning works a little bit like this. Uh, I'm very upset with my local officials. I said this on Twitter, but I'll just say it here. I'm extremely upset with my local officials. They have done something that I particularly don't like, and indeed I think it is, it's actionable. It's so egregious that I think action needs to be taken. And the way that I'm going to teach them a lesson is I'm going to go home, set my own home on fire, and kick my own cat in the face. And if that doesn't teach them, I don't know what possibly could. And that seems to be the, uh, the mob mentality that's going on, or that was going on in Baltimore. Um, just a pro tip to any Baltimore people who might be watching this, you don't teach government officials not to do uh, horrible things to you and your communities when your response to their doing something to your community you don't like is to set your own fucking community on fire. And indeed, uh, I, I would just posit that it might be possible that what you do in the process of doing that is set in other people's mind uh, a, um, a kind of a thought that, well, you know, if these people who live there are doing this to themselves, then it can't really be that big of a deal if other people are also doing it to them. Uh, if you want and expect to have a certain level of dignity, uh, you should probably act like you deserve it in the first place. Now, I think as a, with respect to government officials interacting with the public, the public is always entitled to that uh, on the behalf of the, the public uh, sector workers because that's their ethical obligation. And when that ethical obligation is violated, those government workers need to be fired in very short order. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to fire public officials generally, uh, civil service people generally, but police officers in particular. And uh, that protection of law enforcement by having laws and policies where you just can't fire them outright because you don't want cops to be fired for doing the right thing, which I completely understand, it also protects them from being fired for uh, not doing the right thing. Uh, there, I've talked about this. In, I've talked about this in other videos, but it's very much in the interest of law enforcement to protect their own uh, for all kinds of very prudential reasons. Every, uh, not every community, but a lot of communities have that inbuilt incentive to be interested in protecting only your own people to the exclusion of other other people. Um, I happen to have worked in an agency where that shit was not tolerated. The slightest indication that you acted improperly was an immediate suspension. Give us your credentials, give us your firearm, go home. Uh, we want to make clear, in case this ever does become a story, that we want to have no part of your kind if it is indeed the case that you have done something wrong and the investigations were very quick and they were quite thorough. And this was... It ranged from anything like a person looking on their uh, their MDT, their mobile data terminal, at information they shouldn't have been looking at, uh, suspensions for that, uh, various kinds of misconduct um, related to computer access policies on the desk or in offices. If uh, someone looked up a porn site, for example, it was uh, within, within 24 hours or so, an investigation would be initiated and they would find out who the evil porn looker at or was. That shit in my agency was not at all tolerated. In fact, I happen to have been, <clears throat> just well, I've got you, to have been <clears throat> interviewed in one of those little, someone had been looking at porn case, uh, porn on one of the, the uh, departmental agency computers. So I get called in. Now, I'm armed, uh, and the guy doing the interview isn't armed, which I thought was probably not the best way for, for him to uh, set up a situation where he's in control because I had the gun and he didn't, but I didn't quibble. So I'm sitting there with my coffee and talking to this guy about uh, this egregious trespass of regulations relating to access to the computers. 
And after it was all over, and, and this guy, uh, who we had a good nickname for, but I won't tell you this because he still works, and I don't want to cause him uh, any difficulty, but it was a funny nickname, I'll just tell you. He had a particular way of talking. Whatever. So at the end of it, uh, after it was all over, and uh, they had they had discovered that I was not the evil looker at her of porn, I asked the guy, I was like, by the way, what what kind of porn is it that was being looked at? And it was lesbian porn. And I thought, you are a great guy to have working internal uh, in internal investigations here. Uh, you don't keep your ear to the ground, do you, sport? Uh, if anybody's looking at lesbian porn, <laughs> it won't be me. <laughs> but whatever. I was amused. But anyway, whenever those, that uh, the ethical obligation is not met on behalf of civil servants, that is a failure, and if they have a, a commissioner, a mayor, whatever, who fails to hold uh, very strictly and very swiftly to account people who do have these uh, these the violation of their ethical obligations, their their professional uh, obligations, then you, you get climates where this kind of mentality can thrive, where it is exacerbated that law enforcement will try to protect its own, very often to the exclusion of the uh, the general public, who, after all, they did swear to protect and serve. But anyway. Just as a, an outsider looking in, when you're willing to torch your own homes and your own businesses as a response to people doing shitty things to those in your community, it really does kind of say, we also agree that we're not people who need to be taken seriously. We are not people who are deserving of respect because we can't conform our, our behavior, uh, even in the face of some kind of a in this case it is a petty outrage, it was one man who was killed uh, that was what was claimed to be the source of all this anger. I understand it's a source of anger, but bear in mind, it is one man's life. Tragic though it is, it is not a reason to raise to the ground your own communities. And when you respond that way to the death of one person, even in circumstances which, by the, which are not yet known, all you are saying is that we don't have, we don't have to be taken seriously, we don't have to be respected, because the very best that we can do in the face of adversity is do what I said at the beginning of this video, go to my own home, set it on fire, and kick my own cat in the face to teach you a lesson. Now, as I sorted out this video before that, having said, I tend to look at motives, uh, what claimed end goals, and the actions that people take. If it had been the case that the only things destroyed were government property, police cars, uh, city hall, the mayor's house, whatever, things like that. And if it were only uh, government workers who were the victims of various kinds of assaults, I would at least there be able to say they are, they seem to be holding true to wanting to, the end goal that they want, which is these particular people who they are visiting this violence upon, to take them fucking seriously. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. Instead of doing that, which, whether I condone it or not, is it... Let me be clear here. I'm not saying that you should do that. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. What I'm, what I'm saying is, at least if that were what had happened, if that was what had happened, I would be able to see that there is a connection between the complaint and the action taken. There is no connection whatever between the complaint and setting your own fucking house on fire and kicking your own cat in the face. No connection at all. Uh, and all I'm saying is that, at least in the case of all of the, the violence, all of the anger being exacted, being taken out on government workers, law enforcement, the mayor, political officials, whatever, and government property, police cars, city hall, police station, something like that, there would at least be a connection between the complaint and what was done. Unfortunately, the people who get all outraged or whatever are incapable of doing that kind of thing. Now, I've mentioned in other videos, when a group of people suffer a long trail of abuses, a long train of government excesses and usurpations of their liberty, I think they have an absolute right to depose that government by any means at all. I, I don't say just by peaceful means. That is a nonsense for, uh, for an American to say that you can only depose, you can only replace a government by absolutely peaceful means. This government, this country came into existence by doing it by not using peaceful means. Uh, of course, you should try that first, but it is not the only option available. And I think that as an American, uh, at least if I'm going to say this country should exist, I'm logically committed and ethically committed to also supposing that in the future there could arise a set of affairs where the community would have the right to rise up against this government 
and uh, use force to remove that particular government. Unfortunately uh, for the Baltimore people, that situation is not this situation. That hy hypothetical one in the future isn't what you're facing. And even if it were what you're facing, suppose that this country got started by the following means. Uh, the so-called founding fathers had uh, their, their complaints against the, the crown. They wrote out in calligraphy, Dear Mr. King Guy, uh, GTFO. And then what they did is, instead of fighting against the British, they turned on each other and uh, started killing off one another. Whatever else is true about the state of affairs uh, that existed at the time, that was not a recipe for success. In the same way that setting your own house on fire and kicking your own cat in the face is not a recipe for teaching government officials how wrong they've been to have thought that you people were idiots, because you're acting exactly like idiots. Alright, uh, that's what I have to say there. Uh, flame on. Have a good day.